good morning and welcome back uh, to another video um, it's Saturday morning now after the Tullow show I haven't done any video on it I didn't do any video on a Tullow show either I just we got on with it but what a yard of sheep what a yard of sheep uh, I thought there was exceptional stuff in it um, and the prices were pretty good as well so um, maybe I should have videoed some anyway but I was as I said before I was judging the hoggets and the top top the top 10 pens were exceptional uh, exceptional really 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 good and um, even the lambs I didn't get through the lambs much um, but the top top pens were really really nice really really nice and uh, mine were well below par and um, I'll tell you what I got actually there were 48 kilos the first pen and I got 200 for them and then the second pen were 42 kilos I got 165 and then the last pen were the black ones were 42 kilos I got 145 so the black ones you sort of got killing price for them you know but I knew what they were and I had even said in the last video I think um, my first pen I knew there was going to be no prizes or top money but took 200 euros happy enough with them you know I knew what they were as I said um, lambs weren't good with me this year and then there was a few lame ones that should have been on it as well if the lame ones had been on it um i might have been there thereabouts but look at the lambs that got prizes were exceptional exceptional lambs lovely sweet lambs so i don't think i'd have been in it anyway mine were a bit rough and um like i know what they are i'm not i'm not stupid you know so but look at it's the money you're after uh, really so going to be doing something today something i've never done before um i brought the cattle scales up here we're up here to dip truck um and i have the cattle scales here where i'm going to be weighing my my big heavy yo's to see what weight they are because realistically i think they could make more as cash yo's um than later on in the year um as uh, breeding yo's um, if I if I had yo's maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna do three categories over 100 kilos because I'd, I'd say there is some over 100 uh, between 90 and 100 and be, between 80 and 90 and um, that's what I'm gonna mark them as I'm gonna weigh them now I don't know how I'm gonna set it up here it's gonna be a little bit like I don't have a crush to put them up in and that it won't fit in the, in the it won't fit in here so I might just set it up there and put gates look I, I don't know what way I'm gonna do it it's not gonna be handy but now these are Chevy Joes, but I saw I saw cast Joes now there were black ones in Carnew the other day. Now there were 109 kilos to make 324 euro. So look at my mine are Chevits, so you're gonna take probably a bit less for them. But like if they were making 270, 80, I don't think they're gonna make that in the ring for breeding yos. Four year four and five year old yos, you know, so gonna try it maybe. Get them in, weigh them, see if they're heavy, bring them to car new Thursday and see how we get. As I said, I didn't know what way I was going to set it up, but I put the scales at the other end of the foot bath because um, they're used to coming up the, this sort of race here, so I'll put it at the end. But look, if only makeshift gates sort of half tied, you know, when a yo runs up and they'll be trying to turn in it, and it was like, I just don't know whether it's going to work. I'd, maybe I'm fecking mad, maybe I'm mad. But uh, that was my plan anyways to weigh them and I'll have to tie that. I'll, like, I have no backing gate. I'll just have to put that across there to stop the coming. Um, and then I'll just have to tie this. Like it's going to be very slow operation. There, I just have that. I'll just have to stick a bit of a tie on that to, to use that as my little bit of a weighing race. I don't know whether it's going to work. I just don't know whether it's going to work. But anyway, we're going to try it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Um, I'll just pick them out by hand then, uh, the heaviest yows. And I'm gonna read them out as they're, they're perfectly good breeding yows, but like, if there's a difference of 30 or 40 euro per head selling them as cash yows, maybe 50 euro a head, um, why would you not do it? Why would I lose out on 50 euro a head, 40 euro a head? So um, that's that's the reason behind why I'm doing it. Uh, we've never done it before. We've never weighed yos or anything like that. So I'll just maybe check their mouths and and others as well. Make sure they're 100% breeding. Um, maybe breeding yos will go well. But like a, a good few of mine are four and five year old Chevy yos that I would have bought off my dad. You know, 
what are they going to make in the mart as breeding yows, old yows like that, even if they're well conditioned, you know. So I think I'll just get a bit more for them um, as cast yows. We'll see what happens. Um, I have three markers there, I'm just going to maybe write it on the wall. As I said before, 100 plus, 90 to 100 and 80 to 90. I don't think I'll go any less than that. I don't think I'd even do the 80 to 90. If they're 90 to 100 and 100 plus, I'd have two groups maybe. And um, see what we have. Uh, there's a few black ones that didn't go the last day as well. To Tullow, uh, they were a little bit lame. So um, I'll probably sort out a few blacks as well today. Um, I probably have to leave them in the pen here and go back and get the, the stock trailer and maybe bring them home to the sheep shed so it'll be nice and handy. I wouldn't have to get the big batch in again. Okay, have it set up now. Have the screen there. Uh, have the yo's in. Uh, just met a neighbour there. Uh, we were just talking for a couple of hours so I lost a, lost a bit of time. But there's some heat today and the sun's out. I just had to fucking take off my top. It's just roasting. It's absolutely roasting. So there's the O's now. Actually, these are some of the worst ones um, that are in. But um, I don't know whether I have a system that would let some of them through. Like some of them I don't want to weigh them. I mean, I really only want to weigh the, the bigger, heavier ones. Um, so look, we'll see how it goes. Um, I might set it up on time lapse uh, up there to the scales after I get once I get going. There's the old one, it's just turned around, but she's weighing in at 87.2. She's not overly fleshy. You know, she's not over fleshy, so. So some of them other yo's definitely going to be 100 kilos. I just threw her up on it. I left some of the others out that I didn't think was, um, anyway, fleshy at all. But like even it's, it's gone up to 88 there. She's 88 kilos. So, um, we probably have to weigh two thirds of them. There's the old Erin, she's 107 to 10 kilos. Um, and like she's not, she's not, I have you always fleshier than that. I'm just wondering if that scale's right. It's reading 107 there. Um, she's a good yo, all right. Have most of them done now. Uh, just one more pen full to get in here. Uh, I'll tell you one thing, it's just been a slow process. It has worked well, the scales there and all the way I had it set up, it has worked reasonably well. But it's just slow because you have to walk around and open that gate, tie it, come back and get one out on the scales. You have to go walk around the wall, come back here. So it's, I don't know what time it is, it's, I'd say it's after seven o'clock. Good system enough, but uh, just slow. So I'm not sure how many I have, I need to count. There was, there's been a lot in the 90s. Uh, there's been a few in the 80s and a few over the hundreds. I think there was one even 115 kilos. So I'm actually going to ring uh, Eugene from Carnew Mart and to see would there be any takers for them. But because they're Chevets, they're not like Texels or Blacks, you know what I mean? Um, they mightn't be as well conditioned as them or as good, good kill out rate as them. So um, I'm just going to ring them and see would there be takers for them. There's, I, I don't want to draw them down there, maybe 40 or 50 O's. Uh, just for the spin. Uh, if I'm drawing them down there, I want to feckin' sell them and I want to make sure I get good money. So um, I just want to have a chat with him before before I do anything. Um, but they're in reasonable condition. Like I probably have 20 O's there over, over 100 kilos. And there's probably another 30 or 40 in the 90 kilos. And then in the 80s, some of the 80 ones are iffy enough. I don't think I'd bother with them at all, but at least they're marked. At least a mark them we know we know them you know maybe because maybe someone would be interested in them at home um they're, they're reasonably fleshy enough they're reasonably fleshy so good morning it's just monday morning here um just in the tractor we are going a chance 
we're going to go mowing. It's, it was Sunday, a good bit of rain. Uh, sorry, I just wiped that camera. A uh, good bit of rain last night, Sunday, and it's given showers and maybe Thursday a wet day, but I'm not going to do a lot. Maybe 10 or 15 acres, but we have to chance some of it. We have to do it. Just waiting every week, every week, waiting, waiting, waiting. So uh, it was just something, that, actually, I was watching Farm Theory there uh, when I was having my breakfast. He, he, like, and he's he's explaining um, the disaster of the wet weather on his farm. Like he's a dairy farmer, and like I'm not into dairy farming or anything like that. I don't, you know what I mean. But he gives a great analysis of everything, and everything uh, explains everything in detail. Why he's losing so much money, and why the weather is affecting everything in farming. You know, so definitely give him, give him a watch there. Like I say, I'm not into dairy, but he, he's someone that explains everything extremely well, and. Um, it's brilliant to watch, brilliant to watch. But that's the devastating effect the weather's having on everybody. It's just fucking ridiculous. It's ridiculous at this stage. Um, so that's why we're gonna take the loader off now, put the, get the mowers on, and cut something and make a ch and, and chance it. Uh, we'll probably be trying to bail it Wednesday then, so I'll just turn it out later on today and turn it out tomorrow. Maybe twice tomorrow and We'll have to get it Wednesday because they're talking about rain on Thursday. Re Ideally, if if Thursday was fine, I would cut an awful lot, and and Thursday would be the day that I'd be trying to bail. I should have cut it yesterday, but I knew this rain was coming last night. I should have cut it yesterday, and then I'd, I'd have been turning this morning. You know, um, oh, it's just impossible to try and to try and plan anything. You know, to try and get things done. Like it's the middle of August now. I know we done an awful lot in August last year as well. But um, it's just going on. There's so much to do. Still, so much to do. Uh, the only thing is, I'm getting an, I'm getting an awful lot of sheep work done. We sorted the owes the other day. I don't know whether I said it or not. Um, I'm over 70 owes there, heavy owes. So um, make a few call, phone calls today and see what we're going to do. Just here at the back of my house, where uh, this is where I normally graze the cows, and uh, in the spring there, I never got. There's a few. There could be a few stones in, especially out there. There was a couple of stones there. That's where I was fee actually feeding the cattle, and um, I'm only using the back mower, and I'm going very slow because look, there's humps here, and I, I, do, I was feeding cattle there with the round feeder, and I, I never got to tidy it up in the spring. There's a few stones, so there could be anything here. I know. I know definitely. There's some stones along this ditch along there, so I'll just have to maybe go out a bit and maybe even just leave that strip. I know it's not great. Uh, I'm just going to check over here. I thought maybe there was a little bit of wire or something over here. Um, and then in the middle where I had the creep feed, there's just a few bumps. So I need I, I need to go slow. And look, it's bent into the ground, so I need to go slow anyway to try and to see can I cut it fairly well. Now there's a good few weeds in it. At this time of the year, uh, there's going to be weeds in it, but there was a horse, there was horses in here, but like it has grew back well. So I just need to check it, go easy. Um, I might just mow the whole lot, I don't know. Um, there's good drying there now. Um, schooners available this week anyway, but um, Jonathan's going to mow as well. And then another guy rang there to mow a bit for him. So, so a few bits on. So I just don't know whether I put myself under that much pressure like last week um, and, and mow it all or not because we'd be working around the feckin' clock again. Uh, I know you'd be getting it done, but I'm not able for that anymore. I'm just not able, so... Um, I don't mind working a few late nights, but when you're fucking working around the clock, it's just... It's too difficult. You know, it takes you too long to recover now when you get a bit older. But yeah... There's actually a good bit of clover in that as well, but look at this should have been cut. The horse had grazed this. I see there's a bit of wire there actually. I see that bit of wire, so I just want to take that out of it. Now I think that's the only bit that I had saw earlier on. So um I think I'm good now once I have this bit of wire out of it. Uh, but as I say, I'm got I'm I don't think I'm gonna use the front mower just in case I hit um a stone or anything like that. Uh, the back one is, is better equipped for that. Um 
So yeah, it's just, it's just going to be a bit slow. Going to be a bit slow. And then I, um, I'll show you then when I go down to the other fields. Uh, I have a field on the hill as well. I'm not going to do that now anyway. just over here uh, heading it out uh, I had to go mow second cut for a local dairy man as well and then I have to go mow another bit later on so I should have been finished this uh, only, I, only I got called away so um, we might actually get to bail some of this tomorrow some of the lighter stuff this stuff schooners turning now and a bit at the back of the house um, like there's a bit of green in it yeah, I say we can bail that tomorrow. He's just turning it out now. Um, savage drying here. There's absolutely savage drying here at the minute. So, um, in there now is very heavy. You'll have to go slow. And I just have to finish this field and two more there. And then that's done. There's, there's probably the good to 50 acres here. So, next few days is going to be busy. job for tonight uh, just this little field uh, there's only a couple of acres in it um, a lad he, he originally wanted to make hay in it but uh, just with the weather the way it is uh, he's gonna make hay later. so this is the last job for tonight it is it's just eight o'clock so it won't be too bad but I need to get the rake on for the morning and grease a few things as well tonight before I go in um, schooners gone football training so we didn't get it all turned out but look at some of it was very green there that I'm only after mowing so um, gonna leave it till the morning anyway because I don't want it all coming in at one time we're like um, probably after mowing 60 or 70 acres today now between like uh, this and another guy and me own um, so I don't want it all coming in at one time we're probably gonna bail some of mine tomorrow because it was serious drying today really really good drying and it has wilted no end so uh, probably, but I think I might have stated earlier in the video. Um, Got to bail some of it tomorrow, and then some of it Wednesday. Uh, it, it would just break it up a bit, but I think there's only me and Schooner around, so we have a lot of work to do. Um, there's a lot of bales on it. Like there's probably going to be 400 bales in and around over two days and there's only two of us now uh, Jonathan hasn't got back to me he might be doing some drawing and look maybe I'll rope in my dad uh, don't like asking him he's fucking 84 you know so maybe he'll come and do a bit anyway. just the next morning here folks and it is raining it's not just a mist it's rained a good bit so maybe we get bailing later on this evening but that has fecked up all the plans and it really puts the pressure on for tomorrow because uh, i think they're giving rain for thursday so maybe we get everything bailed tomorrow and draw and wrap it then on thursday about 70 acres down on the ground between my own and other lads as well uh, we could have had it done last week where they were giving rain and none came like Friday Saturday Sunday was perfect could have had it feckin done anyway gonna finish off this video here um, look please subscribe give it a thumbs up if you liked it thanks for watching uh, please subscribe it always helps the channel and we'll see you at the next one